I just found out I shipped a bug that pretty much broke my app for the past two months. So come and join me today for a day in the life of a solo developer working on fixing his own app. The app that I'm currently building is called Monty and it's an app that lets you use your phone to record any meeting and then we automatically take notes for you, transcribe the entire meeting and give you summary and anything else that you want from it. One of the key features of this app is that while you're recording audio using your phone, you can put your phone away, turn the phone off, put the app into the background and it'll continue recording that audio even when the phone is turned off. But then the other day, my co-founder and I, Ming Ming Duck on social media, found out as we were testing the app that it was completely broken and that functionality stopped working. Even though we knew that when we initially shipped the app back in November, it was working. So now let's go in and try to investigate the app and see when exactly did I introduce this bug. I was scrolling through my GitHub commit history until I found the change that actually broke this feature. And it turns out this feature has been broken since November. I can't believe I didn't catch this bug until almost two months later, especially with the fact that it is such a critical feature of the app. I guess that's kind of my fault because I don't have any test cases written for it, but oh well, I'll go fix it right now. The worst part is is that when I went to go and look at the code change that actually broke this feature, I remember making this code change and I vividly remember a huge portion of this code change being done by LLMs. This is totally on my fault because I did not review the code changes that it made thoroughly enough and I kind of just blindly committed the changes and it ended up breaking a huge critical feature on my app. After finding the root cause of the bug, I worked on some changes to fix this feature back into my app and I quickly submitted my app for a new build on both the Google Play Store as well as on the iOS App Store. And not gonna lie, this is one of those things that I hate the most about mobile mobile app engineering is the fact that you can't release a hot quick fix anytime you want. You have to play by the Google Play Store as well as iOS App Store's rules and you have to wait for them to review your app and approve it and then you also have to wait for your users to actually update your application as well and this is one of the biggest downsides of mobile app engineering in my opinion. With web app development you know that you can make a fix, get the change out immediately to everybody in the world without having to wait for users to update your application. But I guess that's the price you have to pay for Google and Apple's incredible distribution engine in the Play Store as as well as the Apple App Store.